Hey guys, before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by my Twitch channel. If you like my consistently uploaded videos and want to see more of my degenerate shenanigans live, I stream on Twitch every Friday now starting at 4pm Eastern. You can also earn Worfles just by watching the stream, and you can even trade them in for fantastic prizes. The links are in the description, but for now here is the video. Hello everyone. My name is Professor Wirfs, and welcome to your first and only class of Skyweaver 101. Over the course of the next 5 minutes, we will be covering the following topics to learn the basics of Skyweaver. So let's get started! Skyweaver is a singleton based card game, meaning you can only have up to one copy of each card in your deck. Cards are split up into various prisms, with each prism having its own mix of goons and magics. You may build a 20 card deck using only one prism, or a 30 card deck with two prisms. There are currently 5 prisms in the game, Strength, Wisdom, Agility, Heart, and Intellect. Strength has big dudes, Wisdom has big spells, Agility has every copy of Need for Speed, Heart has Necromancy and Devil Worship, and Intellect can copy paste life itself. There are 8 elements in the game, Earth, Water, Fire, Air, Dark, Light, Meadow, Mind. Elements don't have a per type matchup bonus like in Pokemon, but they do play important roles in how decks are built and played out. Once you have built your deck, you are ready to play. The game starts with you and your opponent's heroes on the board. All heroes start with 32 health and 1 power. Achieve victory by utilizing your goons and magics to bash your opponent's head in and win the game by lowering them to 0 health, or maybe sometimes a little bit lower than that. Protein, kill your opponent to win the game! When your deck no longer contains cards to draw, you start drawing random cards from the prisms you are playing at the cost of losing 1 health per card. Basically, any card you draw that did not originally start in your deck will cause you to lose 1 health. For a teaching example, I will utilize this here Mermas card. If you do not have any water cards left in your deck, you will draw 2 random water cards and lose 1 health for each card. If you have only 1 water card in your deck, you will draw your water card and 1 random water card, losing 1 health. Pro tip! One term to pay attention to here is Conjure. Conjure is a mechanic that lets you draw cards from outside of your deck without taking any out of deck damage. Get it? Cause like, the only word is key, but there's there's more than one key, so it's like multiple words made out of the word key, you know? Keywords. Stealth units hide behind the hero, and thus cannot be attacked until their hero has been damaged in the same turn. Guard units prevent your hero from being attacked. Guard units only protect the hero, so your unstealth units may still be targeted and attacked. Damaging the enemy hero with lifesteal damage will give your hero health equal to the amount of damage dealt. Lifesteal only triggers upon damaging the enemy hero. Dealing wither damage reduces a unit's power equal to how much damage was dealt. Banner gives your hero plus one power. Banner from units stay in effect until the unit is removed from the battlefield. Banner from spells stay in effect until the end of the current turn. Armor lowers damage from all sources by 1. Pro tip! Armor is broken! Triggered abilities happen when a certain criteria is met. When you play this unit from hand. When this unit is summoned from anywhere, whether it be from your hand, deck, or graveyard. When this unit dies. When this unit hits and damages the enemy hero. When you play a card of the type specified. When the turn starts. When the turn ends. During combat, units can be returned to hand, shuffled back in the deck, stolen, enslaved, and tortured, Don Cheeto Captain's Planet, Tree of Five. But the two most important interactions are killed and dusted. When a unit is killed, its soul is merely relegated to the Shadow Realm, where its death effect will still be triggered. When a unit is dusted, it is permanently removed from play for the remainder of the game without triggering any card text. Think of it as uh, getting Thanos snapped out of existence. Protein. If you die in the game, you die in real life! Attachments are either magics or enchantments. What are enchantments? Well, remember the 8 elements we learned earlier? Thanks to the duality of man, each element comes with its own positive and negative enchantment. Enchantments with mana cost can be played off by spending mana. Earth has Roots and Animosity. Roots is a 3 mana negative enchantment that prevents the attached character from attacking until the enchantment is removed. Animosity is a 4 mana positive enchantment that gives the attached unit plus 2 plus 2 when the enchantment is removed. Water has Frozen and Vapors. Frozen is a 4 mana negative enchantment that causes the attached character to take 2 extra damage from all sources. Vapors is a 2 mana positive enchantment that gives your hero plus 2 health and a card when removed. Fire has Flames and Quest. Flames is a 2 mana negative enchantment that deals 2 
2 damage to the attached character at the beginning of their turn. Quest is a positive enchantment. If a unit with Quest attacks the enemy hero, that unit gets plus 1 plus 1 and draws a 1 cost card. Air has Silence and Shroud. Silence is a negative enchantment that prevents the attached character's card text from triggering. Shroud is a positive enchantment that prevents your opponent from targeting the attached character with spells for 1 turn. Dark has Hex of Fate. Hex is a 6 mana negative enchantment that causes the attached character to take 6 damage at the end of their turn. Fate is a positive enchantment that draws a card of the attached unit character's element when it dies. Light has Blind and Shield. Blind is a 5 mana negative enchantment that causes the attached character to target only the rightmost enemy. Shield is a positive enchantment that prevents the first occasion of combat damage. Meadow has Chains and Lead. Chains is a negative enchantment that causes the attached character to lose all keywords such as armor, wither, or guard. Lead is a positive enchantment that prevents the attached character from getting dusted. Mine has Dazed and Barrier. Dazed is a 1 mana negative enchantment that causes the attached character to fall asleep at the beginning of their turn. And last but not least is Barrier, which is a positive enchantment that prevents the first occasion of non-combat damage. Alright, that was a lot of stuff to cover all in 5 minutes, but you now have the knowledge needed to succeed in Skyweaver, or at the very least, not lose to the AI. If you want to learn more about the topics covered today, check out the official Welcome to Sky blog post series on the Skyweaver website. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in Sky.